welcome to another weekend here on the platform. My name is Sam Omashe. My column will be read to you now. Some commentaries in the past two weeks about why Somashiwa Jubola Tinobu's associates are looking the other way have reminded me of childhood. As a little boy, my father Moses was lost in the ecstasy of my early life, Chief Obafemi Awolowo's autobiography. Every evening, while he clutched and read that canon of book, he belched out his praises like a soulful incantation like a man in a rally of one. Awo's main virtue in my father's closeted eulogy was courage. My father, who would rather fall than faint in his belief, saw himself in Awo. As parents do, Moses Omasheye planted a seed in his son without knowing it. It will also be good to see a novel or play or epic poem of his years. Then we shall understand that Awo's life mirrored the eternal treachery of Nigerian politics. Many left him, and there are big names in our history even today. No one should mistake service for servitude or vice versa. Neither should anyone see sacrifice as sacrilege, because service comes with some sort of sacrifice. At certain points in our lives, we must serve but we should not become traitors in order to get along. The Latin phrase etu means you too, in the famous Shakespearean play Julius Caesar. In Yoruba, the word etutu means sacrifice. Etutu should never get to sacrilege or servitude, but it should not lead to Shakespearean etu. It is clear many do not understand Nigerian history, not just the history of a century ago, I mean history of just 10 years ago. Hence, I wrote my piece last week titled A Lagos Original about what happened under our very eyes and many people across the country and the world responded with genuine surprise at the facts. When persons rise under the shadow of one man and turn against him, they mouth principle, but they forget they had principle when he fed and clothed them and made them shine to the neighbors. For those who left our, we know they did not belong. They were wayfarers. None of them propagated the edgy idea till they died. The same way, some who left Tinubu have returned with the glory of prodigal sons. Some of them who worked for Nigeria's democracy must remember those who fought and those who didn't. Tinubu, for instance, never forgets. The boss word should be compromise. So people who evangelize principle should not conflict liberty for personal license. Welcome to Big Talk. This is the political season and we are having the first of our cogitations, open cogitations on the politics of 2023 taking place in 2022 and to discuss this with me is uh, a very uh, perspicacious uh, commentator in Biodun show me you're welcome to the show I'm pleased to be here now there are so many things that have happened in the in the month of January I don't think we have seen a January so feisty in the past um, in the past maybe decade or so, like this January, in which we are seeing a tone, a tone in which um, the nation is already in bated breath for 2023. So what would you say are the highlights of January so far, oh. given, given what we are looking forward to? Yes. Um Prior to um, January, many people were a bit anxious that um, the ruling party, the APC, uh, would be so badly affected, you know, by uh, security issues that happened. Mm. They came so 
uh, dominant in mm. um, 2021. Yeah. But there is a, we came to a turning point that hardly are people talking about the security issues or concerns anymore. Apart from abating, um, we have some important developments. The issue of electoral bill um, is there. You have um, the bill being returned back, mm -hmm. you know, to be reformulated in a way mm. that it will be acceptable to all the yeah. political parties. Yes. You also have um, the uh, presidential candidates, uh, the chairmanship race first, yes. which is um, the within the APC uh, clearly coming out. We have so many candidates and the frontliners are now coming out mm -hmm. and it's increasingly becoming clear mm -hmm. that the decision taken by certain governors in 2021 yes. is gradually being implemented in a consensual way yeah. rather than in a demanding way. And we I also have... Uh, for instance, um, the concerns of the uh, northern governors, when the southern, 17 southern governors made the demand that power should rotate to the south, mm. is they are not against power moving to the south. Mm. What they are saying is that you can't make it a demand, you negotiate it through consultation. Mm. And I believe a lot of consultation are taking place behind mm. the scene, mm. and gradually we see in January, uh, the, almost all the chairmanship candidates are from the north. Yeah. So more or less silently considering, you know, the presidency, you know, to the south. Mm. Then we also saw another major movement, which is, um, uh, well, the, what I would say is um, a, a surprise move by one of the gladiators uh, within the APC, part, the national leader of the party, you know, suddenly making the announcement of his intention to, to, run. to run, you know, right at the foot of the presidency, where the president is, where the vice president is, where all the powers of government are. And then he came, he went for consultation, mm -hmm. and he then made the announcement. Since then, it had become the issue mm -hmm. and the news for those who are for him, are analyzing are, him, yeah. those who are against him, are analyzing him. Mm -hmm. It's changed the tone of the debate mm -hmm. in January, yeah. uh, which I think will go on for some time. I think January will be remembered in spite of all you have said, as Ashura Jubala Tinubu's January. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, look, because he's coming now, the way Amana did it, mm. uh, appeared, he must have preempted a lot mm. of issues. Yes. And he came out, coming out straight away, shocked so many. Mm. There are those who are still mounting their intention to seek for mm. those offices. Mm. They suddenly went quiet. Yeah, and, and then, then some other people have come out. You had Umahi, you had um, um, the former governor of Abia State and Senator Oji Kalu. Oji Kalu. Yeah, Oji Kalu is... Uh, yeah, yeah, he says it's neither here nor there. He, yeah, because yeah. he keeps saying that <laughs> yeah. if my brother Ashwaju is going to contest, yes. I may not contest yeah. against him. Yeah, Meanwhile, yeah. he wants to contest or he thinks the uh, presidency yeah. should come from Southeast. Exactly. The case of Dave Yumai mm -hmm. is very, very clear. Dave Yumai just left the PDP to move into the APC. PDC. You know, and then a house he did not build. Uh, he, he wants, wants to ahead. occupy it. Yeah. It's going to be very difficult mm -hmm. uh, for Devi Mahi yeah. uh, to really control. I doubt whether Devi Mahi can control the votes from the Southeast, mm -hmm. not to talk of from the whole country. Yeah, yeah. you also have the Southeast people saying, well, this is our turn, and uh, we should have it that if you say, if you say that the presidency must go south, then if they say, okay, it must go east, then they. Those ones south south are saying, well, we didn't even complete our turn. So some of them are saying it is Jonathan and so on. So it has created a lot of um, permutations according to people. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. um, it is true that people from the southeast will prefer to have the president coming from the southeast. And it is also true that people from the south West south. and, and south, south South would yes. also prefer. We heard of Jonathan. Yeah. Jonathan too did only one term. He, yeah. We heard of his intention to come back and all that. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is when you look at the clear definition given by the 17 Southern governors in unity, it's for south. they made it open south. that it's for South. south. That is anywhere, anybody from the, the south. south. That's very clear. And I believe that uh, in line with that spirit, many people in the South will end up rallying around whoever they think uh, would get the ticket. Why do you think the announcement by Ashua Jutinubu has created so much uh, uh, attention? Oh, there are so many reasons for that. You have people who think it's best to ride on his back. 
mm. um, to achieve whatever they want to achieve. Mm -hmm. So there are the sidekicks of people like that who are out, you know, making so much noise, uh, trying to x-ray the man to say no, no, just to force him out and then concede to be, a, uh, consign himself to being a kingmaker, which the man obviously has said he was not prepared to be. Then you also have the other people within the party who are jostling for control of the, of party. the party within the Southwest, mm. where obviously Ashwadu has, you know, taking hold of the party. Mm -hmm. um, when you talk about elections, it's obvious that uh, the waves usually move towards where he moves. Mm -hmm. So there are those who are concerned about that, who thinks, oh, he's already a national leader. Um, it will be more, more too much powerful uh, in terms of the politics of the Southwest. That is why you see many of the opposition coming are actually from the Southwest. Mm -hmm. Those who are X-raying him more mm -hmm. are actually from the Southwest. But, but those, those who are X-raying more are from the Southwest. But those who are really angry are not from the Southwest. Those who are angry are yeah. not from the Southwest. Uh, you see mm -hmm. the condemnation coming from another part of the South, but not the that Southwest. The southwest. Not which the Southwest. Is, which is interesting. Which for, is, for different reasons. reasons. Yes. Then Everybody don't forget, it's also reasons. a game changer. Yes. It's coming out yeah. as redefined, you know, the race for presidency. Yeah. Many people have thought there were speculations, people were mentioning names. Oh, Ashadi will be a kingmaker. You can see when he was in UK just for a minor surgery on his leg. Yeah. You can see the how people, you know, troop to the place thinking maybe if this man is going to be a kingmaker, they will be the preferred candidate. But the man said, "Look, I'm fed up of being a kingmaker. Mm -hmm. This race is open to anybody mm -hmm. who wants to rule the country. Yeah. If you have the idea." But those people talk politics, about kingmaker. How do you talk about kingmaker in a democracy? I don't understand. Are they themselves condemning themselves, condemning the same democracy that they are living in? If you can see that somebody is actually a kingmaker. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> you know, it's, um, yeah. it's like um, a fool's paradise. When you want to build your castle in the moon and you make the person to believe that, look, you're a kingmaker, or God just make us king, yeah. you know? But what about the kingmaker himself? Does he see himself as a kingmaker or as a contestant for this? He sees himself Does he? as somebody who has, who has seen himself as a good chess player in the democracy. And it was because he has, he has been so successful, they have no word to give in the royalty. Royalty in the democracy, which is contradictory. It's, which is actually, very which is in a yeah. sense, they are actually giving him a plus. For, for being a very great player in a game of numbers. Absolutely. When you look at how he has played the game in the past, yeah. uh, you just you can't keep but referenced Lagos. Yes. When he was exactly. the That's governor what I was in Lagos coming to. That's what I was coming When to. he was the governor mm. in Lagos State, yeah. the might mm. of the presidency, mm. you know, was railed against him. Mm. The funds of Lagos, you know, the funds were seized under mm. the guise that um, local governments, local council development areas were created. Mm. Of course, he went to court. He challenged so many of those illegal decisions. Mm. And But the most important thing is he saw an opportunity to regenerate the economy of Lagos, to refinance, to ensure that the revenue comes in mm. from different streams. And he was able to do that, moving the economy from a 600 million IGR you know, to 20 billion IGR within the same period. In the meantime, Lagos still ended up collecting the money which the federal government seized. Yes. When you look at the situation which we have now, the country has a huge debt overhang. We are spending about 90% of our resources mm. on serv servicing yes. debt. Yeah. We need somebody who can regenerate, re-engineer the, re the economy of the country mm. Mm. with the view you know, to ensure that we are able to at least stay afloat and pay our bills. So this is why... One of the things it, that has actually interested me after the announcement is that the generation of those who are probably in their 20s and their 30s are acting as though they didn't know or maybe they didn't really know what Ashwaji did when he was governor mm. or all the things he has done to, to this democracy. They, 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 they keep acting as if they don't know which mm. is really baffling, and in another sense, not baffling, because nobody teaches history in our universities. Mm. We don't even know the history of things that happened 10 years ago. How do we know things that happened 
<laughs> Three decades ago, as, as I said <laughs> in my, my column, when we <laughs> tied to the, the Lagos original, where I listed the things that, that he did in Lagos mm. and how Lagos has become a kind of mm. city of refuge for mm. the Nigerian state. Mm. He said, this is where people run to. Why are they coming here? Whether it is jobs, mm. whether it is security, whether it is, uh, it is educational pursuits, they come mm. here in order to regenerate themselves mm. and so on. And then, and then the man who has been at the top of it, you believe him. You say, one, that he doesn't have an education. That his education was, uh, his certificate was forged. And then, just as they were saying it, a newspaper, out of mischief, mm. wanted to find out whether it mm. is true, so mm. that they would put the headline mm. that, look, the man actually, uh, Chicago State University said they don't know him. <laughs> but having done the, having <laughs> done the research, the university mm. said, yes, mm. he actually is a student and a scholar. Mm. And not just a, not just a scholar, a, a top one at that from our institution. Mm. Mm. And then they wrote it without much backgrounding, much, uh, which mm. they should have done normally in that mm. kind of thing to reflect that there was actually controversy over this matter. Mm. You know, one, one thing that keeps baffling me is mm. why we don't look at the whole picture. Mm. Those who are arguing that Tinimbu did not go to school, mm. have they ever listened to him? You don't need to meet him, mm. just listen to him. Does he, would he sound like someone who has never been to the four walls of university. a university to start with? Forget about secondary school. Yeah. He must have gone to the university. Yes. That is one. Number two, have they thought about one thing? Mobile is an international oil company. Not just international. Top notch. Top, top notch. <laughs> and he became the treasurer of Mobile. And an American company. A American company for that matter. And then you want to fake an American degree to go and work in <laughs> number in one American, American company. <laughs> so, you know, it's quite ridiculous, but you expect it. And anyway. the Lloyd touch. <laughs> you know, in Nigeria, yeah. you know, you move from the uh, sublime to the ridiculous. ridiculous. You know, people look at the substance and leave the substance and chase shadows. Yeah. They keep talking about his age. age educational qualification, not his achievement. No, not they're not talking how about he what he contributed yes. to the development no. of Lagos or Nigeria. I remembered years ago, um, the streets of Lagos were always littered with refuse. Yes. He came, the military couldn't, couldn't solve the problem. Mm -mm. He came with a solution. What is called Loma today yes. has changed the face of Lagos from being the refuse capital of Africa, mm. you know, to a different thing completely. Lagos is not even in one of the 10 most filthy uh, 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 cities in Africa. Mm. So what did he do differently? People need to look at that. It's a man who has a huge exposure. Mm. He was able to tap into what they're doing elsewhere mm. and say, look, we need to have a formal refuse clearing system. Mm. But with one face, with bearing my Nigeria in mind, he didn't go for machines, you know, to clean up the whole street, mm -hmm. but decided to create employment for the people rather than for those who are selling the machines yes. by engaging uh, poorer people. people to come and clean the, st the streets. No, yes, of course, yes. that is very important. It is significant. And we are not looking at all that. How did it generate the, regenerate the economy of Lagos okay. in a way that Lagos became, you know, the magnet. And the model. And the model. A state of reference, not only in Nigeria, you know, and perhaps uh, in West, West Africa, Africa, not if not in Africa. It, it, these are very important things. Uh, and, 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 and last year, last year, the governors actually, the governors who came together mm. and they came to Lagos mm. to say, okay, mm. we want you to teach us mm. how you did it. They omitted that. Yes. <laughs> Those who is critic will always they don't want to hear that. They mm. want to blank that out. Mm. That failed to exist. They want mm. to go back into the past. Let us dig more and more and more. The other day somebody was talking about um, oh he had so many foreign accounts and I said but I remember at that point in time the total money in that in those accounts were not even up to fifteen thousand dollars. No, not so what are you talking about? <laughs> People have different accounts uh -huh. for different reasons they because investigated and investigated and, all investigated that. and there, there was, was much nothing. money there. The yeah. whole money in that account, mm. in all the accounts they were talking about, no more than fifteen thousand dollars. How much is fifteen thousand dollars, you know, to uh, Nigerian politicians to start with. But you know you can't stop people being mischievous. Mm. Uh, they want to drum up this issue if they have nothing to offer to start with and they have nothing to beat 
uh, him with. So they have to look for something. And they're talking system. about age and, uh, you know, I just read that uh, Nancy Pelosi, who is 80, mm. and the Speaker of the House of Representatives in the U.S., mm. is trying to run again for another term. Nobody's mm. asking about age. Biden is uh, over 70. He's much older. Mm. And they're asking about age. Why do you have to... Ah, they're obsessed with age and not with this, whether, whether he can perform. You know, one thing that I still don't understand is why we claim we are practicing democracy mm -hmm. and we always fail to pick up the good things from, you know, democratic countries. For mm -hmm. instance, people who are raising the issue of age uh, will be accused of being, you know, racist in other climes. For instance, it's age discrimination. They call it age, ageism. Age, ageism. Yes. Or age discrimination. Ageists. You ageists. do not <laughs> discriminate, you know, against people on the accounts of age. Yeah. Are you saying that a man of 70 has nothing to offer the country. Are judges not allowed to stay in office? In some cases, judges are allowed to retire at the age of 75. So what then happens if you are able to sit and preside over the life of people, you can determine whether somebody should live or die at the age of 75, and what you are now saying that... It's, it's a man who walks around. I mean, since he did the surgery, he's been walking yeah. around, he's doing everything. Yes. Eh? And as in the US, you mm -hmm. have somebody who was on wheelchair, oh. who is regarded... Mm. And if mm. you count three greatest American presidents, mm. Um, mm. Uh, Roosevelt, mm -hmm. during the Second World War, mm. was on wheelchair mm. when Roosevelt led the world against Nazism. But Tinubu is not even working on wheelchair. He's walking everywhere. He has traveled since he came, more, more than most Nigerians, mm. from so many places. He has been to Sokoto, he has been to Kasina, he has been to Abuja, he has been to so many places mm. within that period. Mm. And, and, and people say, oh, he's not capable. His, his health is a problem. Mm. Let them give us the certificate to show the evidence. Because those who, who are accused must prove. Absolutely. The, look, genuinely, many people were a bit concerned about um, his health, not knowing that he went for a minor surgery, um, which many people go through from day to day. Mm. It, it's nothing to do with age. And, um, but when he came back, within a short time, he's out busy campaigning. He's been moving around, From you know, consulting more than yes. anybody. Probably more, more than anybody within a short time, yes. you know, in our history. Yes. And yet, this is the same man we are being told is not well. It's quite clear that there is no concern around his health. Mm. Um, he's been moving around, he's been expressing opinion, his mm. own opinion, and he's been talking to people, you know, about his intention. Uh, these are not the signs or symptoms of a man who has a serious um, health challenge. Yes. I don't think so. Now we're getting to uh, a place where even the PDP, we don't look at PDP now, let's, let's look at them briefly. Mm. They, it looks like, even as we, as we speak, in spite of the fact that they're saying that they want uh, the Southern governors agree that they want a Southern president, that the names that are coming out from the PDP actually from the North. Even Sarah Kim himself can never prove where he is, whether he's a Southerner or whether he's a Northerner. Nobody can even uh, look He's claiming North Central. He's coming North Central, Central, which is not North South Central. Well, it can be North <laughs> South. I mean, I mean uh, when he's campaigning in the North, Mm -hmm. he, he, call, he, call, he gives himself a, a northern name. Yes. When he's in the south, he gives himself oh, a southern name. He, then, <laughs> he would then trace his history to Abeokuta. Yes. You know, but when he's in the north, he traces his history to the north. To the north yes. and north central. North yes. central. Yes. You know, yes. it's, it's quite very interesting. Um, in, the PDP has a major problem. The PDP's problem is APC. The reason is this. They are interested in knowing what APC intends to do about the governor's, the southern governor's demand. Yes. It's increasingly becoming clear what APC is doing about it yeah. um, through uh, consultation, and they've been able to maintain cohesion and unity. Now, in terms of PDP, they are now faced with a major problem. Are they going to pick a candidate from the north? If they're picking a candidate from the north, then um, they are already faced with a major problem. The Southern governors have already, within the PDP, PDP Southern governors are warning that they will break ranks. Yes. And that is the they first have said so. they have said major so, problem. Yeah. So you might see the implosion of PDP. Mm. It's a very delicate Very delicate them. situation. Mm. You have Tambuwal, you know, mm. who is highly determined, 
Um, he's not willing to step down. Mm -hmm. He's in the race. You have uh, Saraki. You have Atiku. Atiku. You know, major gladiators within that party. And Abdullahi. Abdullahi. They are, none of them is, will, is willing to compromise for yes. the other, yes. knowing that they will never get the second slot since mm -hmm. PDP want to zone that to the south. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem is this. Are they going to be able to survive uh, this election? If they opt for a certain candidate, then they are certain that you know, they will never be able to capture well, power. What would be the implication for federalism or for cooperative existence as a people? It's, it's, a, it's, it's very it's a worrying. Very, it's very, it's, it's a very, interesting. very interesting development. It's a great and, January, we'll say. Yes, <laughs> and interestingly, uh, you've seen other actors like Wiki taking positions yeah. which tend to undermine you know, the candidacy of yeah. um, those yeah, northern governors. Not so, government. so it's interesting how the whole thing will play out. We'll begin to see the pattern as uh, it evolves. Okay. Well, thank you very much. That has been uh, a great conversation with uh, Biodun Shoumi. It's, it's my great pleasure. to have you here. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for being on this show. You can follow me on my column at www.samomashe.com. My Twitter handle is at Sam Omashe. And until next time, be good.